live. Hello everybody, my name is Cypher and today we have a brand new Division 2 build for PvP and this works for PvE as well if you want to have some fun. Today we are going over a Heartbreaker build. This is pretty genuine, um, pretty genuine, pretty standard um, uh, Heartbreaker build. Nothing out of the ordinary, but um, I've been seeing with the new metas where people are running Double Companion, um, that Ridgeways Bleed build um, with Wicked. Uh, the meta has become overall um, pretty stale, uh, and we're kind of just seeing a lot of the same builds. And I thought we can bring back an older build that was uh, viable a while ago, but now I want to bring it back because it does perform really, really, really well. Um, overall, this build is super fun. You're allowed to be super tanky and play super aggressive. Kind of wish I was recording my last game because I popped off with this build. Um, but other than that, the build is super strong, it's a lot of fun, and it's super, super, super easy to farm. Which is why I think a lot of you guys are going to like it, if you haven't already tried a Heartbreaker build. Starting off with the specialization, you need to be running the Technician specialization. There is no other specialization you should be running other than Technician. And the main reason you're running it is for that linked laser pointer. That is an exclusive piece um, to the Technician specialization that allows you, for whatever you aim at someone, you can pulse them. Um, and the whole idea with the pull status effect, if you don't know, is that not only are they highlighted through walls, so it's kind of like wall hacks essentially, um, but it does proc your Heartbreaker set, which does give you um, bonus armor, which allows you to play really tanky and super aggressive. Starting off with our primary weapons, I'm using the named TKB Assault Rifle, the Kingbreaker. The Kingbreaker has a really high base damage, um, but a lower rate of fire. Um, overall, it's a really powerful AR. It hits super, super, super hard, super easy to control recoil, and overall, it's super accurate at longer ranges as well. Uh, starting off, you're going to have max assault rifle damage at 15%, max uh, health damage at 21%, and for the attribute, uh, I recommend running 10% uh, damage to targets out of cover or uh, damage to armor. Both are really good. The main reason you're running this assault rifle is for the perfect flatline which uh, is a talent that is exclusive to the TKB and to the D.A.R.E. Uh, named LNG. Um, that comes with the talent Perfect Flatline. Amplifies weapon damage by 20% to pulse enemies. After two kills, applies a pulse to the next enemy you hit. So that second part of the talent isn't really going to matter because no matter what, you're always going to be pulsing uh, enemies as long as they don't have 100% pulse resistance, which people aren't running right now. People aren't running 3PC um, all as much. People aren't running System Corruption as much because a lot of these other builds are a lot more powerful right now, which is why um, Heartbreaker builds are a huge, huge sleeper pick right now. I'm just running some basic attachments, 5% crit chance on the scope, 20 round mag um, with minus 10% reload speed, not gonna really gonna matter. That linked laser pointer, you can only put the linked laser pointer on uh, weapons with the long underbarrel rail, which is why I'm not using the dare. The dare, for some reason, does not have a uh, long underbarrel rail. Um, and other than that, I am running a 5% crit chance on the muzzle break. Um, there are some other ARs you can use. I think this is the best um, because you get the most out of that um, flatline talent. But you can run really like almost any AR with flatline that has a long underbell rail. Uh, I believe the M4 has one, if I'm correct. Yes, it does. So if you want to use the M4, you want something at a high rate of fire, maybe some little, like a little bit less damage. Run some regular flatline on there. That works. Um, are there any other assault rifles off the top of my head? Oh yeah, the Carbine 7. Carbine 7 is also super solid. Sadly, the FAMAS does not have a long underbell rail, which does kind of suck. But overall, it's not going to be super necessary, as you're already going to have so much armor anyways, and you don't need such a fast time to kill AR. Going off next to our other primary, I am running the um, the Vector SBR 45 ACP. Um, this SMG, I haven't, I don't have it fully optimized, but I don't think it necessarily matters because I'm going for that um, that flatline talent since this vector has a um, long underbell rail, and I believe it is the only vector that has this. Um, you're going to have max SMG damage at 15%, max crit chance at 21%, and 5% damage to armor. That's what I picked on here, and I decided I might as well keep it because then I can run that flatline. I had to modify that on there, I had to recalibrate that there. But other than that, um, that is typically the best SMG I could recommend. Sadly, the apartment does not have a linked laser pointer. Um, I don't. Uh, yeah, the CMG Banshee does not have one either. Um, and some people might be running, like, wondering why I'm not running the AC, uh, the ACS-12 or the Rock and Roll in this case, which is the name PVP exclusive. Um, I would recommend running the Rock and Roll um, if you were playing in uh, PVE, 
right? But in PvP, shotguns aren't really that strong. This is the double barrel. Um, and then not only that, this uh, this shotgun doesn't really deal a lot of damage. And if I'm using it to proc for stacks, I don't think it's super necessary. Because why would I really use the shotgun like that close when there are other better options like the vector? Um, other than that, um, if you are going to use this for, uh, build for PvE, I highly recommend using the Rock and Roll Shotgun as it comes with a talent Perfectly Extra, which gives you 50% magazine capacity. The regular ACS-12 only has uh, 20 bullets, and this one will give you 30, so an extra plus 10. Um, other than that, very fast-firing uh, shotgun. Really good for if you're trying to solo a District Union Arena or like any other legendary um, strongholds. And you're going to want to have damage to targets out of cover there. You're going to get that max damage to armor and that 15% shotgun damage. And yes, you can run a linked laser pointer on this, which is really why it's really good for uh, not only uh, Heartbreaker builds, but Striker builds and a lot of other builds that require you to get stacks based off of hits. Going off next into our uh, sidearm, it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I'm using the Orbit just because uh, with the talent Perfect Finisher, uh, swapping from this weapon uh, to another weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% crit hit chance and 40% crit hit damage for 15 seconds. Um, other options, uh, the TDI card as of right now today is Friday as the day I'm recording this. Or actually, uh, now it's uh, Saturday. But um, until Monday, Monday will be the last day that this is in stock. If you go to the countdown vendor, you can purchase the TDI card custom, which is a PvP exclusive. Um pistol that gives you one plus skill tier which is really nice um comes with uh 12.3 percent pistol damage and uh the one that came from the countdown vendor had future perfect on it um you can re-roll that into anything you want because obviously um you can't re-roll the skill tier which is nice and then uh there's no point uh in re-rolling the pistol damage as it's already pretty high so you can choose whatever talent you want it doesn't really necessarily matter but i recommend the orbit or the tdi card custom Going into our gear pieces, let's start off with the mask. For the mask, I'm using the Exotic Catharsis Mask. This mask is a super strong um, like piece for tank builds, and especially it's really nice for Heartbreaker. Uh, if we go into this mask, it has 170k armor, 20% uh, incoming repairs, about 4.8k armor regen per second, and I am running a 5.1% critical hit chance mod. The main reason you're running this exotic is for the talent Vicious Cycle. Taking damage builds a stack to a cap of 30, each stack grants 1% weapon damage, and taking damage at max stacks, which is 30 in this case, triggers a purge, removing all status effects and stacks, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of max armor for 10 seconds uh, to all allies in the cloud. Overall, it's super strong. I really like this mask for the fact that not only do you get a free 30% 30, 30 weapon damage for taking hits, by the way, that does include getting hit with bonus armor, which is why this mask is so good with um, Partbreaker, because not only can you keep your max armor up, but you can get bonus damage just for doing nothing, just for taking hits. Um, and, uh, and overall, that 5% max armor uh, healing cloud, it's a lot more than 5%. You sit in that cloud, you can, like, you're basically immortal, um, as I've seen in PvP, um, along with the Defender Drone, which is one of the skills I am running. Other than that... Let's go on to the chess piece. I'm running the Heartbreaker chess piece. For two pieces of the Heartbreaker set, you get 15% AR damage and 15% LMG damage. For three pieces, I get 15% um, weapon handling, which is obviously super nice, just to make my weapon feel uh, faster, especially with reload speed too. And for four pieces of Heartbreaker, um, you do not need to run more than four pieces for a gear set, by the way. So if you're running more than four, you're really just wasting your slots. And you only need to run three if you're using the Ninja Bike Backpack. Um, but for four pieces, um, you get the talent Heartstopper. Um, headshots apply pulse for five seconds. Uh, weapon hits on pulse enemies added to a stack of 1% bonus armor and 1% damage to pulse enemies up to a max of 50 stacks. And two stacks are lost, like lost each second, right? Um, I did not really optimize this build. I put it up super easily. I didn't uh, really like care that much because it's not going to really matter if you have it all full. Because this build will beat people even if they have expertise. It's, that's how strong this build is. Um, you'll At max, you'll have 170k armor on the chest piece. Um, you'll I ran a 6% crit chance and I put a 4.9% crit hit chance mod. And with the chest piece bonus, um, increases max stacks from Heartstopper from 50 to 100. So now we can get 100% bonus armor. Um, and 100% weapon damage, if I'm correct. Yeah, to pulse enemies, at least. Um, going on next to our holster, I am running the Brazos named Picaro's holster. This holster is best in slot for a lot of builds, especially PvP builds. 
Um, but overall, you get a nice 10% skill hitch for that one piece Brazos bonus. Um, and the reason why you're running this piece is because it comes with two cores, a blue and a red core at the same time. The red core will always roll at max, so there's nothing to worry about optimizing that. And it'll always roll the blue core on it, which gives you the freedom to actually run uh, any attribute you want. It's super easy to put it on there. I kept the default because it came with 6% crit chance for me, and I just keep it that way because I like the, having the extra crit chance so I can maximize my DPS. Um, you can roll a skill tier on here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. But you can all you cannot run a uh, red core as Ubisoft tried doing that and they broke the game, so um, they are, said they are not changing it so you can run double red. But either way, it's not going to really matter. Starting off next with the Heartbreaker backpack, the talent with this backpack is cold, uh, increases total bonus armor gained per stack from Heartstopper from one percent to two percent. So you're not going to be uh, increasing the damage with this backpack, it's just the armor attribute for it. So now, uh, not only are we getting 100% armor from the chest piece, 100% bonus armor, but now we can get 200% just by running this backpack, which is really nice. It allows you to build bonus armor super fast, making you a lot tankier in run-of-the-mill gunfights. Uh, I almost have max armor on here at 170k, uh, and I have a 6% crit chance attribute with a 6, uh, or sorry, a 5.2% crit chance mod. Going off next to our gloves, I am running the Heartbreaker gloves with 170k armor, and then after that, I have, I rolled crit chance on there again. And then after that, um, for my knee pads, I'm running Heartbreaker knee pads, 170k armor, and then I have a 10.5% uh, crit hit damage on there. I could have rolled it higher, I still have it in my library. It's just I had these pieces for a while because they were super easy to farm, didn't really care to do it again. Um, but it's super easy to get like all these max rolls because Heartbreaker will always roll with a blue core. So you can just re-roll that um, regular attribute um, to get something you want. So if you don't want to run the Procaros holster, or let's say you don't have it, there are other options. You can run Heartbreaker um, for the holster. And if you want to, it doesn't perform as well. But if you, this is just if you don't have Procaros holster, you can run the Contractor's Gloves. Which are the name Petrov Defense Gloves that give you 8% damage to armor, which makes them best in slot for that. 10% LMG damage is pretty nice. You're not really going to be using it unless you're using the dare and then you pre-pulse beforehand because remember the dare does not have a uh, under like a long underbarrel rail. Or if you want and you don't have the contractor's gloves either, you can run the, uh, where is it? Here we go, Fox's Prayer. They named over the armaments knee pads, which comes to 8% damage to targets out of cover. Another multiplicative, which is nice. But I felt like in this case, getting an extra 15% weapon damage and an extra blue core was more beneficial than running those pieces. Which is overall why I believe that Picard's Holster is the best uh, named item, probably in the game, at least for a gear piece. Going to our skills... Um, for PvE, you can run the Crusader Shield. Crusader Shield is really nice because that allows you to use your ACS-12 shotgun to build stacks super quickly. Same thing for Striker if you want to run Striker. Um, I, will not, I will not be running the Shield for uh, PvP as it um, overall is a hindrance as it breaks super easily. And not only that, um, your head is still vi visible so you can still get shot in the head. Um, and if the Shield breaks as it does super easily, you'll take a lot of damage super quick because you'll be disoriented, you can't really aim your gun properly, you can't move properly, and you'll get beamed. So I'll be running the Scanner Pulse. Um, if you aren't going to use the Kingbreaker and you're going to use the Dare LMG, uh, I recommend running Scanner Pulse as you need to make sure you can get as Pulse off as often as possible, which kind of sucks because uh, in conflict it has a 110 second cooldown. Uh, for your second skill, I recommend running the Defender Drone. The point of this build is to be as tanky as possible, so I think the Defender Drone is all, also really solid. If you don't want to run the Scanner Pulse, I think the Defender Drone is a must, but if you're not going to run the Scanner Pulse, I recommend the Riot Foam Chem Launcher. Always really nice. Um, or Sticky Bombs are always good, and Decoys are always good. Kind of just get your enemy off your tail, and overall, um, maximize the amount of damage. This build is super easy and super simple to make. Um, if we go to the stats... Let's go over here. So with the named uh, Kingbreaker Assault Rifle, we have 59% crit hit chance and 55% crit hit damage. That crit hit damage is not going to matter as much because you already have a super high um, base weapon damage and you're already going to have almost maxed out crit chance. Um, and that will be maxed out if you uh, like if you optimize your attributes like I didn't. My mods still aren't maxed either. If we go over to the Vector, um, since we were already so close with the Kingbreaker, you're already going to have max crit chance anyways, but you'll have 65.5% crit hit damage. Other than that, we still have those um, armor multiplicatives, damage to target out of cover multiplicatives, and that extra red core, which is super nice. If you do have expertise for this build, it makes it even better because you get more bonus armor and more damage to pulsed enemies. Other than that, this build is super strong. I had a lot of fun with it. It's super easy to farm. I think you could probably farm this in like less than an hour. 
Um, as for getting the pieces, you could just do countdown to or summit to uh, farm the heartbreaker pieces. Um, you could do countdown or summit again for yeah, the Brazos holster. Um, you could either do holster target loot or Brazos target loot. I think Brazos is better because then uh, when you get a named item, you'll know it'll always guarantee be the Picaros most likely. And then for the Catharsis Mask, all you got to do is farm Summit or Countdown once again with Mask Targeted Loot. Overall, super easy to farm. You could probably farm it in an hour. It's super easy to get these pieces. And other than that, let's see how we go into Conflict. Hey, actually, I don't think I've seen these plays before. I think uh, we're going to get to three stack. Uh, you know what? You know what? Cool. You know what? Fine. As long as they don't have expertise, I will be okay, dude. You know what? You know, I, I'm going to be positive. I'm, I'm going to keep my head on my shoulders. Going to have... Going to try, gonna try to have some fun this game. If I can at least have one good game, I can forget about everything else that happened tonight. Because at least I'll get a video out and then people will watch it and hopefully people will enjoy the video. Um, but I will have a video talking about expertise and why it is fucking ridiculous uh, soon enough. And uh, why it's ruining the game. Uh, one of our teammates is missing. Is he running an ACOG on his Honey Badger? What the hell? Bro wants optimal range on his Honey Badger. You know what? You know, I, I'm here for I'm here for that diversity. I wonder how he performs. Alright, let's get right into it. Uh, let's, do, let's do a little side route. Meet him over in the alley at their place. Three firewall, one technician. You know, that seems pretty fair. I mean, definitely uh, no demo turret then. That's a good. Oh, quad firewall. Okay. Alright, found out where they are. Four threats. I'm assuming those Detected. weren't skills I, I saw at all in there. Let's go get a flank going. Let's get, let's get a flank going, boys. I just gave away my location there, but it's all right. Just wanted to get his attention, get him out of cover, so my teammates can get some pressure going. That guy's rotating quite the distance. Let's see, is this kid on the high ground still here? Wow, he's got a lot of armor. There we go. Look at that. There we go, boys. Get some work done. Bleed immune. Oh no. Oh, I got double melted. Oh, well. Eh, at least I got the flank off. Probably should have just kept the high ground and maintained some map control. So far, pretty competitive game. People are uh, using the map to their advantage. I think we're going to have a good game going on here. Let's see... Hopefully there's no one watching on the side here, and we are good so far. I'll go over to the alley. Okay, so we got a guy on high ground again. Guy on Balk. Get the defender drone up. Let's pre-aim. Oh, I got pulse. I got pulse. Okay, scared that guy. Oh, wow, only 60k damage. Oh, he's coming down the ladder. He's coming down the ladder. Oh, he was just oblivious to me. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh, oh, three of them. Three of them. Oh no. Oh, my team is coming last second. All right. Agent incapacitated. Oh, eleven percent expertise. Twenty-three. Jesus Christ. Wait, why is there any crit chance on an apartment? What the hell? Buddy, I mean, you could just, you just gotta run the crit damage. You already get max crit chance super easily. All right. Allies have acquired the boost. And now we got a damage amp. I'm not there for it though. I don't know if my pulse is gonna help my team. It's probably pulse a little early. No, no, no. We got three of them. We got three of them. Rogue defender drone detected. Can I get to my teammates in time? All right. Got rid of that decoy. Oh, oh, oh! Getting shot at. Go help my teammate out. Huh? 
I gotta take my meds or something, buddy. What did I just? I just got shot from a guy there, and I. Oh, you got a lot of bonus armor all of a sudden. Play up, play up, play up, play up. Scared little boy. I'm a scared little boy. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, there's a lot of people there. That guy does not take damage. Oh, he shoot my butt. Oh no, my defender drone. Can I get armor soon? Can I get my armor refilled? Oh, you fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. I died immediately. Oh, damn. You know, I mean, I don't think I would have made it if I ran anyways. That was crazy, okay. I stayed there for a while. I think they might have forgot about me, I'm gonna be honest, but. Oh, my buddy's taking a lot of damage here. Let's go help him out. Uh, I don't see them peeking alley. Oh, he's above, he's above. All right, I got him pulsed for you. Let's get another pulse going on. Uh, just to see where everyone's at. Guy far back. Oh, there's a gap they can see. I didn't know that. Oh, he played it up again. Nope, not today, buddy. Oh, look at that heartbreaker survivability. I got catharsis to proc twice there. Look at that survivability. Three guys couldn't kill me. See, that's what I'm talking about. Even with their expertise, they could not kill me. I'm telling you, dude, Heartbreaker's a sleeper pick right now. People are sleeping on Heartbreaker. Let's go get that flank going again. Let's go get that flank going again. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take high ground. Oh, they are all jumping up. We kind of just swap sides. All right, let's change the fight real quick. Okay, we got a guy up here. Decoy there. Oh, he sees me. All right. So we still got the guy up top here. I kind of want to pulse him for my teammates so they know. Okay, so they're going to try to flank me. Agent down. Oh, my teammates are taking some damage. All right. Let's see, does this, does this guy peek me again? Oh, ow, oh, he can, he can hit me a little. Okay. Still no one climbing up the ladder, which is good. Alright, so I will... Okay, so I will out-DPS this guy. Alright, good to know. Get to the car, get to the car. Okay, nice. Pulse. Oh! Aw, oh, damn. If only I had an armor key, I could have I I survived a little longer. Oh, okay, I think I gave enough time for my teammate to flank that guy up top. Nice. It's all about being a team player, being a distraction. That's what the survivability is so good for. Boost. About to come online. Boost now active. Alright, so we got boost up. Hopefully I can take some like take some map control. I don't know where I just got pulse from. Okay. Hey buddy. Unbreakable don't mean nothing to me, boy. Alright. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that guy deals so much damage. And he had the- oh, he had the bonus armor. Yeah. I, I think that's what I saw when I downed the other guy. Right, this guy's got a little expertise. He's running that Ridgeways build I just did a video on. Um, 
And I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to uh, look at that. It's really, it's, it is pretty strong. It is kind of a somewhat meta build. Double Companion's kind of running the game right now, but it's definitely a up and comer build that's been up out like in the game for a while. Let's go get some damage off on this guy. Cracked him, and he is down. Heartbreaker damage. Oh yeah, that weapon accuracy is not too good at range with this gun. Oh, what the hell? He just jumps. Alright, there is an angle I'm going to use real quick, so if you didn't know, you can get a nice angle on the people who are on the rooftop from uh, this platform right here. Oh, I think I, might, I think I might be done for. I think I might be done for. Oh my god, that guy ran past me. Check your corners at all times. Let's play a little aggro, let's have a little fun. Vector! Use the Vector, come on, damage to armor. Got that bonus armor. There we go, look at that. Look at all that bonus armor I got right now. Isn't even from the bonus. Got that all from Heartbreaker. Oh, we got an EMP jammer. What the hell is this guy doing? Alright. Oh, that was my teammate's fire. Okay. Oh, I am. I have some bonus armor still. Got the kill confirmed. I'm out of ammo. Get him with the vector. Get him with the vector. Crack him. Crack him. He's down, let's go. And that's GG's right there. Oh, that's a, that's a nice breath of fresh air. That's a nice breath of fresh air. I've been getting dumpstered on by max, like, 22 expertise level people the entire day. And there we go. We had a nice game to show how dominant this is. Hell, they did have some expertise, like level 10. There was one guy with, like, level 23 uh, uh, St. Elmo's engine. But we had a lot of fun that game. Really showed the survivability. Um, a lot of the damage. Look at that. 29 million damage went 8 and 5. Had 2 assists, right? So obviously not a uh, not a crazy good game, but obviously super dominant. And we had a lot of fun that game. Um, and that's what it's like uh, when you're not getting, like, dumpster fucked by a uh, bunch of expertise. So, um... If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos more often. I'm trying to upload a video like every one to three days, some, somewhere between that range. Um, trying to stay consistent, trying to reach 500 subscribers before the end of summer so I can start making some money on YouTube. Um, and other than that, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not going to be really... Um, I'm, I'm going to try to take a break from the game for a bit. Because, or at least from PvP builds, uh, for the most part, because I have not been having a lot of fun. Um, I, I just said, I've been recording for like five hours, and I am, I was just only going against max expertise. And I think you can obviously tell, uh, how, how not fun this. Oh, I went up like ten season levels, nice. Oh, you know, as much shit as I give Ubisoft for, like, all their terrible decision and balance making. Um, thank God that they made it so that you can, um, overall get levels and, uh, actual XP from doing conflict now. I think I just gained 10 levels from, like, the 5 hours of recording. I mean, you can get that a lot faster otherwise, but I do play a lot of PvP, a lot of conflict, um, which is really nice. Um, I know they did change some XP stuff around, but, uh, farming, uh, the Dark Zone, like, farming landmarks, actually, I did get a lot of levels from that. I think within an hour, I gained, like, 6 levels. Which isn't like crazy good, but it's not like crazy bad either. So if you're trying to uh, grind some stuff in the dark zone, um, farming landmarks is a super easy way to get some seasonal levels, get some shade levels. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to uh, take a little break from the game, um, just for my own mental sake. Because uh, for a casual player like me, in the most sense, that it's not very fun to have uh, all this stuff going on uh, with expertise and uh, status effect builds. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, 
I, I talked a lot more in depth in my VOD, so if you want to go to my Twitch, it's in the link down below in the description. Um, I, I upload all my VODs all the time. This is like where I go to record my YouTube videos, so if you want to watch those, um, see what didn't make the cut, uh, you can 100% go and do that. Wouldn't encourage it. It's, it's pretty painful um, a lot of time just watching, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below for any other builds you want to see in the future, any feedback, anything you change about the build. If, you, if you're a more exper experienced player, always down for some constructive criticism and feedback. Uh, love to hear what your opinions are. And uh, other than that, you know what? It, actually, yeah. If you want to hear me, like hear me play any other games, like I I, I play like a lot of GTA. If you want to see some GTA content, maybe some Destiny 2 content if you guys are into that. Um, but just leave your thoughts down below. Other than that, thank you. I've been Cypher, and I will be heading out. Later.